Hello everybody and welcome to the Awakening of the Rebellion Let's Play. You might notice something different. Well, that's because we are upgrading to Awakening of the Rebellion version 2.6. Uh, this is the version that everybody can download. And I'm going to be continuing the save um, that has been going on for you know the entire Let's Play in the new version of the mod. So... Uh, you can see we have a great new main menu for you, a tactical display off of the Death Star and one of the most famous um, space battles in the movies um, is right there. Uh, so let's just dive in. Um, uh, hopefully, and I, I, I've tested this already, but hopefully it doesn't crash now, but um, the previous saves, since the versions are basically similar and most of it was just a, a minor... Um, code overhaul um, we're able to actually load the save like this and here we are playing the 2.6 open beta version of the mod if you guys haven't seen the trailer haven't been aware of the news um, there will be a link in the description for the new download of the mod uh, I'm responsible for you know releasing that and I'm on the team that that was responsible for releasing it um, Steiner modding group so you know we're very happy to present um, this new version of the mod for you guys and hopefully you know most of the bugs have been fixed uh, you know it is open beta but you know that means that there will be bugs um, it's unavoidable because this is the first time we've released this to the public and you know there's not that many of us on the team uh, so we can't really track all the bugs uh, so that's what the open beta is for so this isn't the last you'll hear about 2.6 it's just now you get to actually play it and uh, Report bugs to us, please. There's also going to be another link in the description for our official forums. You sign up there and you post bugs. There's a German version uh, of the forum and then there's also an English version of the forum. So post your bugs there or ModDB, whatever you're most comfortable with. But we'd like you, we'd like everybody to kind of transition over to our official website for it. So it's going to be in the description. Links everywhere. Links, 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 links. Click them if you want to play this stuff and support us and all that stuff. Anyways. Uh, you might hear that I'm a little bit uh, sick. Uh, of course, you know, New Year, uh, it's cold as shit. Uh, everybody's sick, so no exceptions here. Uh, we were planning to invade uh, this planet, and now that I look at it again, uh, we are... We don't have enough, do we? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, there's the Governor's Palace, right? Um, there's only vehicle tech levels. Automated factory that will produce ATSTs, and there's only a ground expedition team. So actually, there's literally nothing here besides two gigantic ATAT -AT walkers. And uh, we do have two Jedi uh, and a couple of heroes, but, but, look at this. We got all our tanks lined up right here. We got an X-Wing squadron. Let's get all this stuff right there. And we'll see if this land battle can load, because I've had problems. Actually, what was funny is is that I've had problems loading this in 2.5, and when I switched over the save to 2.6, battle loads just fine. Because amazing co Look at that, it's loading! Because we're amazing coders, and uh, we fix everything. And there you have it. We actually get to play the land battle. Isn't that awesome? 2.6. Couldn't recommend it enough. Bugs. Lots of bugs fixed. Lots of bugs fixed. Let's get, um, hmm. This is interesting because I know they have a lot of armor and they might rush me. Uh, at the same time, uh, let's get Han and Chewie down here. Uh, let's actually just get some heroes uh, down here and um, assault this in, in a kind of more strategic way. Uh, oh, boy. It looks like there's already civilians over here. The Millennium Falcon's landing. These rebel troopers need to get over here. All right, here we go. Heroes are here. They've already taken position up in the bunker. Luke Skywalker. Help them out. Oh, we have speeder bikes. Speeder bikes are everywhere, and they're already trying to assault this landing force. And we're just going to send Luke out to do the dirty work. Um, oh, the speeders are still right there. And Luke over here is fighting some some Imperial Guards. Lightsabers blasting everywhere. We got a turret set up, just shooting everything. But we don't have that much um, in terms of <laughs> in terms of actual firepower here. 
I'm on it. So Luke Skywalker is going to continue sending uh, going forward. Hopefully we don't run into an ATAT -AT anytime soon. But if we do, we do have Han and Chewie. We're just going to keep bringing everybody up as fast as possible. So uh, there's a lot of new effects. Not much ground battle stuff, to be honest. There, there is some sounds um, and some effects that have been added. You might see them. Um, as as the mod's going to be progressing, I'm not going to be go like I might point out a couple things, but I'm not going to start just you know going through all the list of changes. Like there's some explosions there and like laser fire, all that stuff's new, upgraded visuals and stuff like that. So there, this was mainly to bring this this version was mainly planned to just bring it to English users and uh, kind of overhaul it for a modern age. There's still this this doesn't mean that all the visual upgrades are done because that is by no means true, um, but. It was, this was just an overhaul just to get everybody on the same page because before this mod... Oh, shit! But guess what? Chewie is here, and this thing's now ours. Oh, look at that. That's not good at all. Oh, another at, -AT. Everybody fall back. Everybody fall back. This at, -AT is just going to take forever to turn around. Let's just pretend that this at, -AT is still, like... Imperial controlled because they don't seem to be shooting at it. Oh, now they just did. Oh, they know too much. Oh no. Which one's General Veers? Oh, that one's General Veers. No, Chewy! Don't die on me, dude. Oh, we just stunned this. Luke Skywalker's laser sabering or lightsabering the uh, <laughs> the legs of the AT AT Walker, and uh, we got a whole stormtrooper reg regiment shooting at our heroes here. Everybody, back up! We've taken out the ATATs. Heroes are down. Rebel infantry, scatter! Not into the legs though. No, Chewie! Back up! Just run away. I know Wookiees shouldn't run away because they're fearsome warriors, but in this case, you've gotta, you've gotta, we gotta put a heal up. This shouldn't be happening right now. We don't have that much, like, gosh, Luke Skywalker at least is in there, absorbing most of the damage, reflecting all this stormtrooper fire back at him. And no, cloak and run away. Oh yeah, laser saber. Oh, saber throw. Everybody run back. Run back to the heal zone. We have a back to tank up now. So we're assaulting Biss. Uh, Biss is not necessary for us to become the New Republic. Uh, if you recall that that was the mission that we were on, uh, trying to get to the New Republic. And Biss is not one of the planets, but it's on the way to Coruscant. And uh, if we are to actually assault Coruscant, we need all the planets in a row um, so that the Empire, you know, controlled on our side so that the Empire doesn't backdoor and take out all of our stuff. I'm going to be hydrating a lot in this episode because I, I need to stay hydrated. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope the voice doesn't bother you. Uh, sorry, I, I really, like, I didn't want to wait recording this stuff, uh, but at the same time, I didn't want to keep you guys waiting. Um, at the same time, I didn't want to... I was pretty sick uh, a couple days ago. Gosh, this heal is taking forever. Let's speed this up. I was pretty sick a while ago. Oh, we have a bombing run ready. Um, but yeah, I was I was sick and it was pretty bad, so I couldn't record anything uh, up to now. Um, but yeah, it's it's been really nice. Uh, the my college semester started up again. Um, back to you know lots of programming. I've got almost all four programming classes this time around. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, Chewy! Jack that! There's no real point of shooting at it, because it's going to be ours. I don't know, is this an upgraded, or is this... Is this upgraded, so we do have the missiles on it. Which is great. Luke Skywalker, you can go and shake that building to the ground. And now we do have the landing zone, so let's bring down our commander, even though we have our heroes already commanding and giving us bonuses, but I kind of want the, uh... I kind of want aircraft. Uh, if you saw, there was like a couple landing craft that look really small and out of place. That is, of course, a uh, bug we know about. Um, 
so there's no need to mention that one. Uh, it's just a lot of things had to get released. Um, a lot of things just had to get released uh, because we wanted to release sort of on time, and we did actually end up... We delayed it to November, or December from November, and we ended up actually releasing in in December, um, like we delayed it too. So we wanted to not delay it again, uh, get some testing from the public done uh, on this mod, and uh, so there's going to be bugs. You can see the lasers and the effects are all new. Uh, if you heard, we have some new voiceovers for the Rebel Hover Tank. There's a lot of voices for a lot of different things, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to keep pushing up here. We have a... Uh, a sensor array. There is the ground expedition team, um, which is the precursor to building Jedi or Sith temples. Uh, so you need to have that before you can build it. So it's 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 an investment, but it doesn't really give you anything because uh, it's just an expedition team. So it's not really armored. Um, and here you have your vehicle tech centers. They don't do anything either because they're just tech centers. Uh, they just produce stuff. Governor's palace gives you taxes and uh, spawns a squad of stormtroopers. The big thing that's really spawning ATSTs right now is this automated factory um, that just keeps producing them. You can see we've got some defensive turrets. So if we want to bring in a bombing run, it can't be anywhere near up there. But I think we can bring one in right there perfectly and then send our forces to take out this uh, bunker. So here we go. Y-wings are coming in. And the bombing runs have started blew up the factory and blew up the tech center so that's wonderful now of course you might think I'm uh, just destroying these guys uh, however look at like what the rebellion has become at this point we are literally on the assault Coruscant so we have all the troops uh, we actually I remember in the last part I noticed that this place was very underbuilt um, and so I chose to strike it as soon as possible simply because of that I'll just go and harass them with uh, the, our fighters because they can take the heat um, we've got Z95s and, and an X-Wing squadron uh, we probably plan to change this uh, we're not sure if we're going to change that exact thing for at the end of 2.6 but here we can actually call down our first uh, Jedi that we've made uh, during this time uh, from our Jedi temple on Yavin um, that actually that happens too early that needs to happen during the New Republic um, so that's another thing that we need to change but let's just take a look at him this is really awesome stuff um, Tusken Raider Jedi and he has the confuse ability on him so now we're actually gonna send our main New Republic almost New Republic assault force I mean unofficial New Republic assault force um, I wonder if we can attack that bunker. Look at this. This is great. The oh, here's some more sound effects for you guys. It's just great. I love. I I did most of the English sound effects. Actually, I did all of them. <laughs> Let's not lie. I did all of them. Uh, I did all the uh, English sound effects for this for this uh, version of the mod. So there's a lot more unit um, sp specific sound effects. A lot has changed. The only thing that the sound effects that that didn't get done were, I guess you could say the uh, in when you're in Galactic Conquest, all the story mission stuff. Because in order to do that, I'd actually have to go in and uh, get the audio from the films because most of it is film orientated, uh, and I just haven't been able to do that. That takes uh, a long time. There's some stormtroopers left over. Look at this tank assault. We have literally everything. Improved T1B hover tanks. Oh no. Our X-Wings, our fighter aircraft, pull them back. we got to send our assault force down here before they... Yeah, they're moving to another bunker. So let's just send them over here to this building area. Take this building out. Once we take out all the buildings, we should be okay. Send our X-Wings out on it. And Chewie's still in his ATST. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And look at all these. Look at this. AACs, don't underestimate them, because look at what happens when you bring a bunch of... Of course, AACs can't be brought up alone, because they're unshielded. So they need tanks like this, with shields, uh, to also come up and fight with them. There we go. And now let's see if they won't retreat, right? Because hopefully they will. 
They won't make me actually take out all the bunkers. That'd be quite annoying. Oh, oh. There we go. Yep. We're still going to send some fighters on this bunker, because why not? I don't have any orbital bombardments. That's weird. I, th I thought for sure we had a ship overhead. Oh, I think it's the Mandador. You know what? That There's a bug report. Look at that. We're already fixing things. I don't think the Mandador can bomb planets. Because that's the only... Yeah, it should definitely be able to bomb planets. I mean, come on. It's a Mandador. Yeah, so... There's a bug. And or whatever. Yeah, I guess it's a bug. I guess it's an unintended non-feature. <laughs> which is a bug. <laughs> Otherwise known as bug. Uh, okay, what? I'm not invading the planet again. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> right as we took, right as we took this, uh, we have our ground troops in orbit. Look at this fleet. A Praetor battle cruiser. The Executor. Oh my goodness. Against the Mandador. We can't do this. It's not possible. They have too much. Now remember that we're also not that strong in space what we are strong in right now is all the ground forces that we have um, so we're probably gonna have to retreat this I mean we could try and do some cheeky strikes with the bombers because uh, there's there's been a lot of balance changes in terms of the uh, how the bombers work and all that stuff um, the rebellion the Empire gets a lot more fighters now than they used to uh, kind of Almost a little bit like the uh, CIS does in Republic of War. A little bit less than that, because this that mod is just... The Republic of War is just ridiculous with the fighters you get. And the Rebellion don't get that much. Um, they only get usually one set. I mean, the Banador is huge, so obviously I'm going to spill out fighters out of this thing. But um, let's see what happens here. Because this is the battleship of the centuries battle. I don't remember if there was, was there an Ark Hammer versus, uh, no, there's a Praetor versus Mandador, right? That's, that happened. So we know that we could take on a Praetor, and they do have one. Um, however, they do have a lot more than just that. And look at, look at the speed on these TIE Interceptors now. I've, that is just ridiculous, and that is definitely a new feature. Of course, our uh, carrier here, General Snub, also allows us to have a little bit more fighters. So, we do have quite the fighter force, and it's still spilling out of this Mandador. So, if we want to, we can try and do something crazy. Let's send all the Y-Wings on this bayonet. Now, I've already gotten feedback that this ship is useless, and uh, I do agree. Uh, it's pretty useless. <laughs> And I know why, uh, but it's supposed to be a long-range ship, but it ends up being just bad. It was supposed to be kind of like the Empire version of the Marauder without the ion cannons, but it's it's bad. Um, and that's, you know, that's some things that we can change before the final release. Here comes, look at this, watch this, because this thing is so dead. You can see the new effects, the explosions, look at that beautiful stuff. Credit to Steiner for all that stuff, he did some great job. Great, great work there. Um, and look at this bomber assault. This is unbelievable. And this fighter battle of the ages here. I've never seen this many fighters in game. Well, okay, yeah, there's been bigger ones. But it's pretty cool. Lancer, take it out. Torpedo strike. You can see that the torpedoes are much more powerful nowadays. Um, beautiful. Taking out literally everything. Now, yeah, they're, they're, still, they're still coming up with some bombers here and there. We've got the... Uh, Oh, we got Thai defenders flying around here. And our transports are actually taking damage, but that's okay. Let's see if we can't take out some hangars. Now, Empire escort carriers are where these guys get the most fighters out of. So make sure to take out those hangars now. Because that's imp Look at all of that. <laughs> One of our B-Wings died, but that's okay. Everybody's dead. They're coming in with very small ships. Now... I need to quickly, because I'm keeping everybody in the same force, but to be honest, what I could really do is uh, send the bombers up ahead, because we're going to have a lot of reinforcements in terms of fighters. Send on the Praetor shields. Uh, they're already shooting. Cooler stuff right here. Uh, all the uh, bombers actually have turrets on them. Most of them do. You can see the turrets on the Y-Wings actually rotate uh, the ion cannons. So we're attacking 
this Praetor. Look at the beautiful effects, like just changing the laser fire. Changes how this entire game looks and plays. Uh, we actually did not take out the Praetor shield generator, even with all of these bombers assaulting us. So we're going to use our X-Wings as additional fighter bombers, and there we go. Just taking out a Praetor. Oh my! Uh, we have some fighter stuff going on back here. I almost lost Han Solo doing that. They're attacking us! Our shuttles are in danger! Rebellion fleet, everybody. Retreat, retreat! We've got a ship inbound. A-wings. Full burn over to the ship. We've got B-wings actually defending us. Oh my gosh, the shield generator is down to 35%. Millennium Falcon can't handle all this. A-wings. Attack move, defend! And then the rest of these ships are just gonna... Uh... Well, we got a Dreadnought coming up. What are these guys doing? Super Star Destroyer. Y-Wings are assaulting this Corellian Destroyer. And it looks like we actually did end up defending our Mandador fleet from the uh, huge amount of fighters, which is great. We got new B-Wings, so let's send them over here. They don't need to be engaging in, uh, in the battle. We'll take out the engines on that carrier so they can't escape. There's a beautiful new Death Clone, also provided. Steiner did all the de Death Clones. We added a shitload of Death Clones. Almost every ship in the game now has Death Clones, except the smaller guys. We might add the smaller Death Clones ships um, later on, but we really wanted to just make this look, you know, good now. The most important Death Clones are were added, like the Praetor, like the Executor. Um, all that stuff's been added. There goes a Lancet Frigate. And we're still just hitting these guys really hard. They're bringing up their stuff slowly. And uh, our our bombers are now assaulting the Imperial Star Destroyer. Another Y-Wing in this fleet. We've got a lot of A-Wings. We've got I-7 Howl Runners and TIE Interceptors over here. Trying to take out our stuff as we're bombing this ISD. Let's just f focus all fire on this Imperial Star Destroyer. Try and take it out. Our shield generator has repaired itself, but TIE Bombers have proven to keep assaulting. We've got even more Y-Wings spilling out of the carriers and out of this stuff. There's TIE Defenders coming in for our... I'm pretty sure they're coming in for our Y-Wings. That or they are coming in for something else here. There we go. There's an interesting Starfighter battle. TIE Avengers, X-Wings, and the Millennium Falcon. Let's actually send some more ships to defend that. And uh, this, yeah, this Star Destroyer is pretty messed up now. Send all the Y-Wings on that. I think we're out of B-Wings, actually. All the B-Wings have been destroyed. Now, I'm definitely not going to try and fight this. Now, what I'm doing is, is I'm trying to take out as much forces as I can. You know, before that executor comes in. If I can do it, then I can do it, but I probably won't be able to just defend this entire fleet with just a Mandador. It's it's kind of ridiculous. The Mandador is not that great. Oh no, the Y-Wings are getting attacked by the fast TIE Interceptors. TIE Interceptors now are the most amazing strike. They are on the equivalent of A-Wings. You, you do not want them in, I guess, one-on-one -on -one Starfighter battles. You want them to just come in and sweep in and take out bombers and stuff like that. They're amazing for that. They come out of nowhere and just destroy your stuff. All Y-Wings, move towards the Praetor. Everybody attack the Praetor. We've got another set of A-Wings down here. We need to send them up. Let's engage. Use the Millennium Falcon to actually engage now. The I-7 Howl Runners. Super Star Destroyer is still a little bit too far away to shoot us. We're going to concentrate firepower, trying to take out the Praetor as fast as possible. And uh, we got two Y-Wing squadrons left over. Not much stuff, really. Uh, we got the one back turret on the Mandador firing at this guy. That's pretty funny. But uh, it looks like we're going to have to get out of here really fast now. We, we're going to take out the Praetor and then leave. Um, let's actually send all of our non-combat ships to the back. Send the X-Wings out. Make sure that everybody's being used. Another X-Wing has spawned out of the hangar. Come on, we need to be able to take out this Praetor. Oh no, more TIE Fighters! TIE Fighters coming in. 
They're all taking out our stuff. This is bad. This is bad. Han Solo, get out of there. Please do not take out our shield. All right, we're still pretty good. There's another Praetor down. Look at that Death Clone. It's just beautiful. Ships being destroyed once again. Steiner, he's awesome. Anyways, off to retreat. Everybody retreat. We've got too much invested in this fleet. We cannot lose the Mandador. And I, I doubt we'll be able to take on what they had left with uh, what we had. It's okay, though, because we have um, we have a large ground force at BIS. Uh, some two Jedi. Uh, we should be able to hold it if they do plant a ground invasion. Now, we need to do a little bit of galaxy sweeping because, or at least just like check out what's been going on because I mean a lot has changed um, <laughs> in terms of what we can build and uh, what we can't build and the prices for things. You can see a lot of prices have been lowered for a lot of ships uh, that's been universal and our Dauntless actually has been built so that's that's nice um, not sure if we want to send it to the core worlds or send it over here because this has been a constant problem for us and then we do have fleets at Allian uh, it's a pretty small one but they also are pretty stacked down here in terms of what they have on this planet so um, we're probably just gonna need to back off uh, to be honest off the Black Sun even though it is the main problem right now uh, they do pose a significant threat to us. So, uh, Hapes, Hapes, yeah, we have Battle Dragons at Hapes. Um, I don't know, is Mon Mothma still at Mon Calamari? Yes. And I think we, we already have the shipyard, so that means this mission's done. So that means we need to bring her to Thyfera, which is all the way over here, um, which is probably not going to happen anytime soon. So... What can we possibly do here? I don't know. I guess we just have to wait for this bis attack and see what happens. We can attack Balmora, because they do have a hypervelocity gun. They've got us cut off right here. Um, oh! The executor has left bis. Only a logical thing to do is to counterattack again. Tactical battle imminent. Uh, we're coming right back. I don't know why the executor left. That's weird. Maybe he needs to be somewhere else. Maybe the Black Sun's harassing them a bit too much. They're, they've gotten really powerful, to be honest. There they are. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back here with the Mandador again. So we retreated, and uh, we are back. What do you need, kid? <clears throat> now, there's a couple of things that haven't been able to to get into the open beta. I am playing the open beta, and not the in development version of the mod, which is. I guess it's seen a little bit more. We've got we've got some new units um, that we plan to add, and there's been a, an entire overhaul of just um, how this how the space combat was going to work. And uh, I guess you could say the fighters. There was a huge fighter sweep for uh, the open beta of this game. You can see that all the fighters have been like touched up. Some have gotten new models. Some have gotten ion cannon turrets. Some have gotten, you know, all sorts of stuff. So there was a huge um, just balance sweep and game design sweep on how fighters work. Um, and you can see that. Look, look, look at all this stuff that they have now at this point. You can see that uh, they, they get a lot more fighters than the Empire does. Um, of course, the only reason we have this many fighters is because of the Mandador. <laughs> a lot of cool stuff. Uh, lots of ships have now uh, hunt abilities. We've got TIE Interceptors attacking our Buings, so we're going to engage that. And then our entire fighter fleet is just going to come in and save them. And our Y-Wings have been sent on a suicide mission. Take out a shield generator of the Imperial Star Destroyer. Not that we really need that to happen, but we might as well do it. B-Wings attack. X-Wings attack. A-Wings. I don't know where Han Solo is, so I'm just going to bring him back to the Mandador. We got a lot of we got a lot of tie bombers in the area. If they strike with all the tie bombers at once, we might actually lose a shield generator on this ship. And we've got a Corellian destroyer. Very weird. Empire controlled their Corellian destroyer. Our A wings are also not sh hitting what they should be hitting, which is those bombers. And this, you know, this, this, this battle is, you know, ours. There's literally, you know, no way we can lose this. 
So let's just watch the Millennium Falcon engage <laughs> the Empire. They made a critical mistake, and the time to attack is now. Look at that Corellian Destroyer. Just got its ass handed to it. There's the, <laughs> there's the Millennium Falcon again. We're just going to keep seeing him over and over again. There's, there goes the Imperial Star Destroyer. <laughs> so that's gone. Oh, uh, man. Oh, look at that. TIE Bombers just got taken out. And our carrier is stationed over. Now it's just... All that's left over now is just small ships and carriers. And our Mandador can take that easily. We're following a TIE Bomber that just got destroyed by Y-Wings that they just flew by. This is awesome. I love watching this mod now in cinematic because it just looks so much... Like, look at this. It looks unparalleled to what it used to look like. And it's, and it's wonderful. The, the star fields in the back have been changed. Um, just a lot of visual work. There's a... Uh, escort carrier getting just absolutely smashed. And we're just continuing to just destroy another Corellian frigate just got destroyed in the back there. Awesome! Look at these losses. Not a single loss on our side. Mandador is great. Let's start building a space station. Um, let's send in another AAC tank for the uh, ground defense. Let's bring Luke Skywalker up into space. Um, and we're already building a rebel camp on BIS. Uh, Merc, right? So let's actually send this Dauntless that way, right? That seems like the optimal solution. We've got 14,000 credits. Build up some support ships because we need them. Uh, we, we've, we've heavily invested into large capital ships. And uh, we don't have enough, like... You can see, like, we just have one MC-80 here, one Daunt or one one of these guys here. Uh, we have a fleet up here that has a lot of support ships, too, because Rebellion needs a lot of support ships. We do have an Ilum fleet just stationed there, um, but we can't really do much with that, right? We also have uh, this right here. Building Build spot. another space station level. And Fresha has a full Golan station up above it, so that's pretty... That's pretty bad. The other thing is, do we have an... Oh, we do have an Ion Cannon here. So, there's no real reason to have a fleet stationed over this, is there? Now, the question is, can this fleet take over a Golan 3? Or Golan 1, sorry. Um, well, obviously, it wouldn't be able to take over Golan 3, because that's ridiculous. But... Um... I think we, I think we could pull it off. To be honest, though, we don't really need to do this. Uh, we do need to do another strike on Bill Bringy, I think. Um, so maybe we could possibly do that. Uh, where's our Dauntless? It's still coming over here. We've got Yoda down here. Uh, something just moved from the Maw. Or to the Maw. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And I'm like, what? L-A-T in space? Nah, it's just a transport. There is plans to make them space capable of flight, flight, space, travelable. It actually fight in space. It'd be pretty interesting, I think. Uh, we've had some talks about it, but we don't really know if we should do it or not. It seems pretty. We don't even know if we want to keep LATs in, to be honest. We might replace them with MA MAATs or M Mats. It's the Empire version. It, they're seen in Force of. Uh, Force Unleashed. They're the they're the Empire version of it. Uh, so we might replace them with that and make LATs Black Sun units or Rebellion units. We don't know yet. Uh, the Rebellion has enough aircraft as it is in, on the ground, so we, we, we don't really need them. We do have a large support fleet here, so we should be able to take on a Golan one, I think. We've got some TIE Fighters flying... New models for the TIE Fighters, too. We're slowly, we're slowly up-resing um, and getting better models for, for everything in the game. Uh, it, it does take a while, to be honest. There, there is a lot. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, there's a lot of ships in this game. Um, we've already replaced, you know, things like the Corellian Corvette, and that's awesome. Um, a couple of models are really well done already, like the Marauder is already pretty, pretty bitchin'. I, I don't think we would need to replace this thing. Besides, um, I don't know. Not really besides anything. This fleet already looks pretty cool. If you've noticed also, there's also additional turrets 
uh, movable turrets on both the Dreadnought, whoa, as we're phasing through here, because there's no collision in this game between ships. Um, you can see that there's, there's movable turrets on both the Alliance Salt Frigate, which has a lot more turrets than if you check out the Dreadnought, which only has a set of four turrets, two on each side. And these are movable turrets. We have also another thing that's been going on is a lot of ships have been added movable turrets, um, and we're planning on adding even more um, as we continue to work on this mod. And now we are slowly moving towards the goal. And you can see that there's a little bit changed loadouts for the space stations. Now they get lancers and a lot more fighters. Uh, they get some carrot cruisers. So, so things have changed. Oh, we're moving in a little too close and our fleet's kind of jumbled. we got to manually kind of move these guys around. We also do have General Dodonna, which also has a new voice. Awesome voice work. We found a lot of cool stuff that we could use. Here comes the fighter fleet. And now we're in the thick of it. Those explosions, they look so great. All right. I've had about enough of this Golan firing at us. All ships fire will. Except Dodonna. Dodonna is already getting pretty crapped on. Marauder needs to also engage that space station. It's going to engage from long range, which is great. We can send a Y-Wing out. Uh, it won't really do much, but I mean, we could turn on ion cannons on him. Just kind of suppress. Keep the Corellian Corvette near the ships to defend against fighters. And their fighters are already retreating up here for some reason. Oh, because of the land transports. They're trying to defend them. So we will actually send our fighters to attack. Let's actually send the Y-Wings to do that. Awesome. Those transports are not getting away. And also, this Golan is just getting shredded. Of course, like, there's the, the, the forward support ships are taking the fire, but Dreadnoughts, to be honest, are tanks. They're slow. But they can take some punishment from a Golan one, I mean. The same thing with assault frigates. They're almost as armored. They're a little less armored. They've got they've got a little stripped down. But they do they're much faster. So for example, this guy's taking hits. Let's move him away. If we're scared that a line assault frigate will die, boost away. And he's gone. And he'll just regain his shields and you you take him back for a hit and run strike. And there you go, and he's out of combat. Turn off the engines and just send him back here. And we've got three Alliance Assault Frigates, so it's not like we're going to run out of that. We just keep switching off. Even the Dreadnought has gotten its shields back, so it's not like there's, this is a big problem. <laughs> Those Thai bombers got destroyed. We didn't even need the A-Wings. Turn on the Ion Cans back on. No real need. One small laser cannon battery. And there's a carrot cruiser. Send our assault frigates on that. Assault frigates will be able to catch up. Carracks are actually pretty fast ships, so... We'll just, uh... Send them out, and uh, hopefully we can kill this carrot cruiser. Not that it matters, because it spawns from the space station. Whoa, that's weird. What are they firing at? Oh, there was another transport there. That was weird. I didn't even see it. Well, we've taken the intersection. Which means that, uh, nothing really, besides we're a little bit closer to Bill Bringy. Um, I don't know what's over there, actually, so... What we could do now... ...is create a Bothan spy, and we also do have a lot of smugglers. Um, but... To be honest, there is, uh, not that much we can smuggle from anymore, as we have taken most of the core worlds. Uh, Solus is pretty well defended, that's pretty interesting. So, basically, we just need to get some more credits. I think we have enough ground troops um, to invade Coruscant. Uh, do we have enough space forces, though? That is the question. We could lead... We could, obviously, we're going to use the Mandador. I mean, that is the point of bringing it here. Uh, but we don't really have anything else. We, everything else is kind of just stationed around and uh, fighting in the outer rim here. Um, 
I'm actually going to send this fleet on Merc. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a level, yep, a Golan. And they're just going to keep bringing ships in and out. But it's mostly Corellian stuff, so we should be able to, we should be able to take this. Another space battle at Merc again. We keep losing and gaining this planet, and uh, now we're actually bringing in some hard-hitting ships. The Dauntless, the MC-80 Wingless. So yes, of course, you could see that all the text has been translated into English. That has been kind of obvious uh, since the start. Uh, so you, everybody should know that all the text has been translated to English. Check out this Dauntless. It looks awesome. It's got a huge hangar. Uh, actually, multiple hangars. The entire ship, it, this is actually a Sullust ship. It's not actually a Mon Calamari ship. Even though it looks very similar to one, it is not. It is actually made at Sullust at the Sora Subcorporation. So, um... We actually don't have control of Sullust, so I don't know how we have the ability to build this thing. Bug report. <laughs> because you're not supposed to be able to, right? I mean, none of the... The Dauntless, the... Oh, what's the other one? That carrier... Both the carriers, the Quasar and the... Uh, there's, the there's that other one that I keep forgetting. Um, the Black Sun also have use of it. Oh, we got transports! Yes, sir. Let's send our fighters on that. I'm going to target the bigger landing craft ships because they're probably more important. Oh my, look at all of this. A-wings. X-wings. Taking everything out. Awesome. Take out ground troops without having to fight them on the ground. I love it. It's my favorite thing. Alright, these guys got a little too close. These other guys are going into the nebula, however, so... We'll use our fighters to chase after that. And our Y-Wings are just going to stick with the ships. In case we do encounter a, uh, a frigate of some kind. Because the bombers can't unleash their torpedoes. On uh, transports. Which, I don't know. I, maybe they should be able to. What do you guys think? That's an easy change. I mean, that's like one line of code. In uh, almost every single bomber ever. But, you know. We, it's possible. We'll take some time, but... Oh, what's this? There's something up here? What is that? What? Like, how? That is super tiny. I, I almost... I can't even see this thing. I don't even know what this thing is. We did a uh, overhaul in terms of... Oh, there it is again. It's so hard to see. It looks like a star. Huh. It's really high up, too, if you've noticed. I think that's the LAAT transport, actually. That's pretty weird. I wonder if we can actually kill it. Yeah, I, I doubt we'll be able to hit that. What do they have? Anyways, whatever. We'll let it, we'll let it live. I don't really care about it. Um, what do they have left? That's the question. They've got a Golan one again, so we're doing the same sort of battle that we did before. However, we are we don't have that much. We don't have that much left. They have a lot of fighters, and our fighters are nowhere near, so speed them up. And uh, keep our ships back until they get here. We, we actually do not have that much anyways. Uh, we cannot use these guys as attack. Um, heavy forces, and this Corellian heavy frigate might actually win them the battle if we don't do this carefully. The Dauntless can take a lot of fire. It has a lot of strong shields, and it has some long-range turbo lasers. Same thing with this guy. But, oh, it looks like they're turning to engage us, so... Let's actually stop ship movement. Dauntless also has the ability of jamming missiles, so we don't have to use the A-Wing abilities. And, uh... Let's use the Y-Wings and the X-Wings and all of this stuff on the uh, on defending this Dauntless. Long-range turbo lasers from all the ships. The Dauntless is not really that incredible at taking out ships. It's more of a tanker. It could take out a lot, or take on a lot of damage. and It has the over-shield ability, much like a lot of the uh, Mun Calamari ships do. 
the, the the downside of this ship is that its shield generator is actually targetable. Uh, but that's actually going to change. That's actually one of the major overhauls that it's going to be happening in terms of what the difference between Empire ships and Rebellion ships. Uh, since the fighters got an overhaul, um, the fighters are still not done, to be honest. There's still a lot of things I want to do with them uh, that we haven't been able to do yet. But there goes the Corellian uh, frigate. And now the problem is, is that now our shields are down on this ship. So it's going to start taking hull damage. And the hulls on the hulls on Munkalamari ships are not that strong, to be honest. There goes that ship. That's interesting. Pretty big explosion. If we can just get these fighters away from... Because uh, they're constantly doing damage to us. And, uh, we, we, yeah, there we go. We need to get the shields back online. That, that's what we need to do. And we, we can't get too close. We just have to kind of inch forward with these ships because um, we're just taking a lot of firepower and the, uh, the Golan will be able to uh, take out our stuff pretty quickly if we don't, if we aren't careful with this. And this, this Carrick, so because of its added ion cannons now, is able to disable the shield ability on these big calamari ships so it's it's important to have a couple carracks in your in your empire loadout we need a we need some more firepower in fact let's bring the dauntless in front because it seems like we're not using all of our guns on uh on attacking this Golan, and we do need to, because it's using all of its guns on us. Oh, those Y-Wings just got destroyed by the anti-fighter missiles stationed on the Golan. And here we go. Now, both of our ships are low shields, so we're we're going to start taking um, hull damage on both ships. Well, this this shields, shields on this ship just came online. So we're kind of like trading. And uh, there's, not, there's not actually much we can do uh, besides try and cut off the fire with the Dauntless. If we can squeeze it in here, because the problem is we might not be able to squeeze this Dauntless in between. Even though we have plenty of space. There we go. Hopefully the Golan hits the Dauntless instead of that ship. And that actually allowed us for our Mon Calamari ship to bring its shields up. So there we go. Uh, the Car Cruiser's back. It's gonna... The... the Imperial Space Stations have unlimited respawns now, much like Ra used to do it. Uh, the Rebellion does not. The Rebellion has one set of defensive fighters, and that's it. You can see the <laughs> vertical fire coming from the Dauntless as it's trying to hit that guy up there. Uh, and I guess we could turn this over to cinematic mode. Uh, bring our fighters a little bit closer so that they defend. And watch this these Calamari ships take out this Golan. Uh, the Dauntless has a lot of shields on it, so... Getting through the shields on that thing is not going to be easy for them. And it doesn't seem like a feat that will... that is able to happen in this battle. Beautifully modeled ship, um, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous, the Dauntless is. Well, both of the Calamari ships are very beautifully... but very beautifully done. And the laser effects now just sell the battles. You can hear the explosion sounds have been changed as well. That's also awesome. I'm just going to let you soak in and enjoy the awesomeness of this version. And there goes the Golan Space Station. All that's left now is the support ships. Our fighters are actually still operational, which is surprising. Normally they'd be out of the commission by now. And uh, the support ships are taking ion cannon fire. They're all actually probably going to simultaneously die. Close enough. <laughs> and uh, yeah, space over Merc is ours. We've lost Y-wing squadrons, but that was. In fact, we don't. We shouldn't even have fighters deployed with this ship but maybe we should because the only thing that's spawning ships right now is the Dauntless so 
um, send our additional ships built over here, our fighter squadrons. Uh, and we're building Nebulon Bs, which I'm planning to also join in into this, into this fight. The, the one thing is, though, is that we don't have any, once again, ground forces, on, at least on this part of the galaxy, to be able to actually attack that. And we're kind of out of cash. So we just have to kind of wait uh, and uh, attack Coruscant, and I think uh, our space station should be coming online. Uh, as long as we blockade Merc, that's okay. They shouldn't be able to attack from the Maw unless they have a fleet there. I could actually check, and that would be actually be a very that's smart fine. thing to do. So let's actually, for once in our life, build the Y-Wing Long Probe, uh, which is in this mod. Um, it's a very interesting ship. We... We'll probably change how it works, considering the Bothan spy is so similar to it. And let's actually spy on Bobringi as well. So all they have up here is an LAT. So yeah, uh, we can easily just blockade Merc and just sit here uh, while we plan the attack for Coruscant. Coruscant, Coruscant. However you want to say it. And Endor is still a mission that we need to do. Do we have all of our heroes? That's the thing, though. I need a query. Oh, that's where the executor went. Blockading the Modia. Smart strategy. Not really. Do we have our... Because we I know we have C-3PO and the Lambda Shuttle ready. We have Luke Skywalker here. Um, and Han Solo here. Um, but I don't see Leia. Is Leia dead and or respawning? I wish I could actually check. Uh, the thing is, actually there is a tool that can actually let me check it. Um, no. Here. Summary. Right? Yep. Fleets and heroes. Leia is at Bespin. Look at how fast we found that. And I should have seen that. Uh, so yeah, so maybe we should do the Endor mission. I don't know, what do you guys think? Coruscant or Endor for the next part? Because uh, we've probably run out of time. I don't want to keep this going too long. Uh, but yeah, in the comments below, do we strike Coruscant? Do we do Endor? Let me know, and uh, I hope you s to see you guys in the next part. And I hope you guys enjoy 2.6. Go download it, go play it, have fun. A uh, lot of, lots of things have changed, as you have seen, and it's a lot more fun, in my opinion, and I hope it is also yours. So, leave your feedback, um, check out our website, um, it's all going to be in the description, and some pop-ups probably on the screen, and I'll make it all happen. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, have a nice day. Bye.